Hello guys, this is blog number three, I think, four. I'm gonna put the windows up so you guys could see my face. Look, today I woke up swollen from everything. Honestly, this baby is killing me, dude. Like, my back is hurting now. I could feel my my hips breaking. I don't know how to explain it. Like, like the middle of my hips right here. I don't know if you guys can see, but. Oh, can't move. I feel like crying. I can't even like really move. Like I feel like my baby's like taking all my weight. I just woke up. I just literally got up. Oh, look, I think he's moving. I got up just to brush my teeth and I can't even get up, like, literally. Like, oh. oh, God, guys. Look at my face, dude. Like, it's so bad. This is so much. Like, I feel like these past days, my pregnancy, like, your body just feels so much weight. Like, I'm so tired. Like, every day I have two more weeks, and like, every day I just. I was, every day is just so much more tiring, every day, every day, every day, every day. Um, let me fix my camera so you guys could see me right, okay? Hold on. Oh, I can't even get up. Okay, guys, so, I'm, I'm in my bed and I just... Like I said, I just woke up. Um, yesterday, I couldn't sleep. I keep seeing, like, my vision is getting blurry. Um, every time I wake up in the night, I have to literally get up, like, because my body it hurts so much. I feel like I just ran a marathon like I don't know if you guys ever went to go take a run and then um, when you overdo it like the line is right there so you just do as much as you can but then when you stop running your body's like <gasps> because you know that you over exercised your body that's basically feel and it's just crazy like I could feel the tiredness in my arms I could feel the tiredness right here I feel tiredness right here on my lower back I just feel very tired and then in the night when I'm sleeping um, right here like this part right here feels like do you see this right here it feels like it's stretching like it hurts and it stretches and like it's like when they pull your skin like I wake up and I'm like <gasps> like it hurts so bad because I feel like my skin is being pulled 
and it's just so bad like I can't take it anymore I really want to cry because I just I can't take this anymore I just want this baby out I want him out and then on my lower back I feel like somebody's going like this like I feel like somebody's legitly grabbing my hips like do you see this butterfly perfect example like they're grabbing it from the middle and then they're going like so much pressure and it's just so horrible and disclaimer this is gonna sound really gross but I don't care then there's like this really thick mucus like moco moco but really thick like thick slime coming out piece like piece by piece not a lot but it's weird because I was looking at it and I'm like that looks like slime like really thick moco slime and I looked it up and it's normal and I guess when your body is gonna be ready to give birth all these weird stuff start happening and a couple of days ago I didn't feel like this I didn't feel anything like this my back wasn't hurting my belly didn't feel so heavy um, the baby keeps moving like he doesn't fit in there anymore like he's really uncomfortable and it's just making me cranky and I can't even like really eat anything and I feel like crying <laughs> Because it just doesn't feel good. <sighs> and I know that it sounds like I'm just complaining, but it's just being pregnant is not like fun. Like it's cute and everything and actually i love being pregnant i'm not gonna lie and say it's so 50 50 because i love it it's just it gives me such joy but i know you guys heard about <laughs> to have good stuff you need to work really hard you know and and you don't like the work but the labor of your work gives you a nice house a nice truck you know so I compare that to being pregnant like um, I guess the suffering of it and the not suffering because you're not suffering your body could take it but the being so uncomfortable it's so worth it you know so I don't ever want you guys to think like oh I'm never gonna have baby because it's horrible no, it's it's more beautiful than than the uncomfortability that you have. But when you're uncomfortable, look at me, I'm crying. This doesn't feel good, you know? You just want this to be over. Um, just like when you have a shift and you're working long hours. You want it to be over. But when your check comes in, you're like, yay! <laughs> So yeah, I just, I'm just, my body's just getting so heavy, I'm exhausted and, but I don't stop my whole pregnancy, well, most of my pregnancy I didn't know I was pregnant and I constantly would get tired but I didn't let it face me because I'm a warrior, like I, excuse me i if i don't feel good i freaking just go if my head hurts and i have something to do i don't let it bother me i'm like no i need to do this like i i'm the kind of person that weirdly through suffering i want to go more because the mind 
this is what I think about the mind, okay? The mind is really powerful. If your stomach hurts and you're in an outing with your friends, but you keep thinking about your stomach hurting even though it does hurt, you're not going to enjoy yourself. If you know your stomach pain is there, but you ignore it and you focus more on the outing with your friends and throwing jokes, eventually, somehow, your stomach diminishes and, like, doesn't hurt anymore. It might still hurt, but it's not being paid attention to, you know? So that's what I do when I, like, don't feel good or when I'm suffering. I, I try my best to, like, let it go. It's going to be there. Let it go. I'm not going to waste a whole day just because no me siento bien because I don't feel good, you know? But maybe I should rest now because I've been overdoing it this whole eight and a half months. I've been working. I've been doing a lot. And maybe that's what I feel like super crap at. <laughs> but guys, that's my blog for today. I This baby is coming. I'm excited. I'm excited, but oh, pregnancy girls. Honestly, I give it to you guys. I give it to all the girls that love having babies. Woo to you, you know. Maybe it's easier because you guys have a husband. And your husband's always with you. And, and I don't know, you have other kids that help you and... And you don't live alone like I do and it's a lot easier on you than myself I think um, I'm gonna make a video another video about how strongly I believe that having babies is for married people um, I don't recommend anybody anybody to get pregnant without being married married I'm not talking about a boyfriend or someone you live with I'm talking about marriage I'm talking about real marriage um, and I'm gonna throw my points out there as in why I believe that being pregnant is is for marriage God I really do believe that God designed marriage I mean having kids for married couples and he really did design it like that for a reason and and I'm gonna share my struggles with you guys and I'm gonna share my whys um see what you guys think um when you guys see that video just let me know what you guys think and okay guys this is my blog number I don't remember <laughs> But see, I got in a better mood talking to you guys, so um, I still feel like crap, but it's okay, you know. Um, I'm happy Eric talking about all these things and crying. Um, yeah, and this little baby, so happy he's asleep because when he's awake, he's driving me nuts. When the baby is awake, anywhere, I'm at the store, wherever this uh, when wherever i'm at if the baby is awake i'm so tired like i feel like, <laughs> like i am so tired like it tires you that he's moving around and everything but anyways okay peace guys this is my other blog morning blog this is my pancita Dude, it's getting so big. I remember like a month and a half ago, it didn't even look like that. Look, I'll show you guys some pictures. See? It didn't look like that. Alright, then love you guys. Bye.